everyone, in this video I'm going to do a quick video to show you how if you are a photographer you don't need to have a studio to make studio looking like photos, if that makes any sense. So today I am with the wonderful and amazing super duper Katia and she has asked me to do some studio photo shoots with her but we couldn't be bothered going to the studio so we're doing it in her bedroom. I mean, we're doing a photo shoot in her bedroom. Effectively, you don't need to have a studio to do a studio looking shot. All you need is a couple of flashes and a couple of good lenses. For me, I'm using a super cheap lens, the Samyang lens, and we're getting some amazing shots here. So all it is, is one flash at Katia's face. This one is in a small little beauty dish. Another flash up at the back, which is going to be her hair light at the background. I'm using such a shallow depth of field that the paper in the background is going to be totally blurred out and it'll just look like a studio. So here's how it goes. Dot. Lovely. Oh, it's amazing! It's done! Okay, that's all we need to do. <laughs> Fantastic. Hey, okay, uh, just so all of you know, I've got the backlight at 128th of a power, so tiny amount of power coming out the backlight. And I've got the main light, which is going through an omni bounce in the small little beauty dish. That is at an eighth of a power. I'm at f8, and I'm at 250th of a second at ISO 200. So all you super clever camera geeks will know exactly what I said there. But if you don't know, it doesn't really matter. Just take photos and fill around with the settings. But here, this is how the shot comes out. That's a whole bunch of shots there, we'll have a look at this. Okay, so there you go. 